The grim statistics of human trafficking is personified by Kenyans who have had to pay the ultimate price after venturing into the Middle East in search of greener pastures. A racket so serious that over 20 million people are victims of this cartel across the globe. While the families of the victims are left pleading to the government to help them bring back their kin home, players have always blamed the victim for being naive. But it is the lack of a coordinated approach in investigating, prosecuting and adjudicating cases of human trafficking that experts say has proved the Archels Hill in efforts aimed at bringing perpetrators to book. Attorney General Gidu Mwigai says the government will address the shortcoming through closer working relations with the multi-agency team already in place. We've made a lot of progress on, on this issue. Yeah. And we've come to today's meeting to dramatize the concern that Kenya has as a country against this modern day slavery and to play our part uh, alongside other countries uh, to bring it to, to an end. The challenge is in, uh, uh, you know, moving from the, the, the point at which you're dealing with migrants uh, per se under the, the Citizen and Immigration Act and the traffic in human beings. And this is where we require to really sensitize our officers more. The judiciary is the end at that chain, mm -hmm. the justice chain. If the prosecutor who has brought the accused person to court presents evidence to show that the moment you release this man is off, then we will not release. I said compelling reasons. The victim's uh, rights are always at the back of a sensible judicial officer. Immigration being the first contact with victims or agents of a human trafficking cartel has already introduced the e-passport and other measures as the government seeks to arrest and dismantle the rocket. The PISA system will definitely be able to take up your retina. It will also be able to take up your fingerprints. Uh, so most likely you are not going to come through a proper entry point. Uh, the other thing is that we are also talking about the strato communities. For example, when a Kenyan sees a stranger traversing in their land, do they just welcome or they ask? So this thing about policy, individual responsibility, whereby even Kenyan citizens are supposed to really be the first uh, point of security. Uh, there is sensitization by immigration, the general is here, the police are... Uh, very much aware of that problem and the prosecutor is very much aware. The immigration department confirmed that it spends close to 5 million shillings through the deportation of human trafficking suspects and extradition of victims of human trafficking. At the border we actually never used to have who is the head uh, of uh, the border or the entry point and uh, with the security laws of uh, December 2014 it was agreed that uh, the people at the border must be accountable to someone and that's why today the carry uh, takes the lead at the border and then uh, deputized by migration. The government will also invest in police curriculum and public awareness as most cases resort to the victim being the villain instead of being assisted. We are rated very highly now by uh, say for example the United Nations, uh, say independent uh, uh, like the United States. Kenya is recognized for its commitment and the work that we are doing. Uh, first, to recognize that this is a serious global problem. And secondly, to take leadership in the region uh, to combat human trafficking. Historically, we did not make a distinction between the victim and the perpetrator. Right now, we've just made that transition. And uh, our concern now is how to ensure we protect the victims. We appreciate that people who are in Kenya illegally in the process of being exploited uh, by being taken to other countries are victims and they, we owe them uh, some protection. Clearly, in terms of mainstreaming uh, in our curriculum, some of these new and emerging crimes, it becomes very critical. And if you can get that support from whatever quarter, it is more than welcome. The Department of Justice is also for striking the Victims Fund that will empower victims of human trafficking. John Jacob Curia, Channel One News.